This is the Slip Angle 300 Watt 4 Corner Shaker Kit paired with the 40 Watt Mini Shaker for your brake pedal. Together, they have quite literally elevated my sim racing experience as for the last several months, my rig has been on springs and elevated off the floor. In this video, I'll be explaining exactly why as well as sharing my thoughts on these immersion driven products by Slip Angle, telling you all the good, the bad, and whether it could be for you. Designed above all else to increase in-game immersion and performance, the Slip Angle 4-Corner Base Shaker System uses tactile transducers on every corner of your aluminum profile rig to provide maximum sensation of both road and car effects. Reminiscent of the massively popular butt kicker, this is similar except it comes with a full kit to mount four of these tactile transducers onto every corner of your rig, thus providing directional feedback. Upon receiving this product, the box contained the six channel bass shaker amplifier, the tactile transducers, the metallic mounts for my 8020 rig, several springs and vibration isolators, as well as speaker wire, banana plugs, and lots of bolts and T-nuts, which all together was definitely overwhelming. However, with the help of the minimal yet easy to understand instructions, setting this onto my rig was straightforward and took me around an hour altogether. Connecting and routing everything with speaker wire was definitely something I was not expecting to do, but just by being careful and making sure everything was routed properly, that also took me several more minutes. And finally, the software side of things also did take me quite a bit. So overall, the installation of this whole system did take me more than I was expecting, but it wasn't necessarily confusing or annoying at any point. Rather, I just wanted to make sure everything Everything was routed properly and functioning as designed above everything else. The question of why exactly my sim rig is on springs is yet to be answered though, and the reason as to why is actually really interesting. You see, suspended off the floor and dampened by springs, the idea here is to prevent the significant vibrations of these transducers from traveling through the floor, losing intensity where it matters, and vibrating other things in your room, causing a disturbance. So using springs to suspend the rig in tension allows vibrations to move freely only within your rig, and as such, utilize the vast majority of the vibrations generated by the transducers. With the 300 watt 4 corner transducer kit retailing at $650, many will argue that it's cheaper to do it yourself, and while I reckon you could save some money doing that, you also have to go through the hassle of making sure you have the right sound card, figuring out what is and what is not compatible, outsourcing everything, and lots more. I reckon that if that's what you like and are used to doing, it's very much possible to replicate a similar product for less, but for many, including myself, I'd personally be willing to pay a higher premium just to have everything delivered on my door and ready with everything needed to go. $650 is definitely a significant price, but conversely, looking at the Butt Kicker Gamer Pro 4 Corners kit that goes for $1,300 and doesn't include a spring kit or anything of that sort, it definitely starts to look more like a steal. Much cheaper as a standalone item, the 40 watt mini shaker kit, which comes included with the mounting bracket, retails for $55, and the idea here is that it can be easily mounted onto your brake pedal to convert it into an active pedal, where it will provide haptic vibrations to simulate your tires locking and other relevant information. Of course, this all sounds swell, but now let's talk about its in-game performance, the good, the bad, and my overall experience with it. From an immersion point of view, it's really night and day the difference this system makes compared to having no type of vibration or movement at all. Upon starting up the car, the entire thing really comes to life, and just the rumble of your screaming engine is something that I absolutely love. Working with SimHub, there are a lot of effects that you can customize and set up in order to maximize the feeling of these transducers. However, less is really more here. What I found from my time testing this product is that having too many effects going at once dilutes how noticeable they are from one another, whereas having only a few, you can easily make the distinction of what is what, and it seemed to be more useful from an actual on-track performance standpoint. 
Something I absolutely loved was having my gear shifts basically kick me every time I up or down shifted, and of course being able to fuel not just when I went up a curb or a rumble strip, but the actual side of the car that those sensations came from, and in that sense this kit did a phenomenal job. More than all that, in-game, the feedback from the transducers is more than just an immersive feature, it becomes a tool for better understanding and responding to your car's behavior. The directional feedback from each corner of the rig allows for a nuanced perception of the car's dynamics, making it possible to feel the distribution of weight, the grip levels of tires, and the texture of the track surface among a plethora of other available effects. This can lead to improved reaction times and decision making, as the physical sensations provide immediate and intuitive information that complements the visual and audio cues. Additionally, the integration of the mini shaker kit with the brake pedal introduces a new level of interaction. Feeling the haptic feedback during those critical moments, like my tires locking up, added a layer of realism that aided in refining my braking technique and improving the overall control of my car. Although I've genuinely been impressed with the performance of this product, there are certainly drawbacks worth noting, so now let's go over the not so good. For starters, although the idea of using springs is to dampen the noise of this kit away from other objects in your room, the noise they make and the rattling of your cockpit with them is still noticeable, not necessarily loud, but very much noticeable and at least louder than with them turned off. More than that, although the software side of things to get this product to work isn't difficult to understand, I would have loved Slip Angle to provide more presets for users to not have to spend as much time getting a decent fuel out of their kit after installing. I, for one, had to spend much more time than I would have liked fine tuning everything and doing a lot of trial and error, something which at this price point could be better laid out. Elevated from the floor with isolators that have rubber pads, once you install this product onto your rig, it's basically impossible to move your cockpit around, something which annoyed me when wanting to make adjustments on my pedals or other gear and not being able to quickly slide my rig to the side for more space. And finally, since I had four strong transducers giving me constant vibrations, distinguishing those effects from the ones my 40 watt mini shaker was giving me on my brake pedal was hard to do as there was so much going on. When testing this product, I turned all the effects off except for those on my mini shaker and in that case it was perfectly clear, but when kicking everything on at once it did begin to lose its presence. So in conclusion, I am very happy with the immersion and surprising performance boost these products from Slip Angle are able to convey. Despite the initial overwhelming nature of the setup and the few drawbacks I mentioned, the overall experience has been frankly just cool. The tactile feedback and the nuanced directional sensations provided by the system have not only enhanced my enjoyment but on track performance. It's for this reason that I believe the Slip Angle 300 watt 4 corner shaker kit along with the 40 watt mini shaker represent a significant step forward in the pursuit of realism and immersion in my setup, making them a worthy investment for any enthusiast looking to take their racing experience to the next level. Of course, let me know your thoughts on this product down in the video description, and as always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.